Korea refer to as the Stone Duran multiple world champion has been a boxing superstar mixing with superstars. Just look at some of the names on his record. Ken Buchanan, Sugar Ray Leonard twice, Thomas the Hitman Hearn, Marvin Hagler, and Dave Bradford of Hensworth. How come? Well, you know the way it is in boxing. You're doing a spot of painting and decorating for someone when suddenly the phone rings and they ask you if you fancy taking a fight with a legend. Or away flustering. And uh, the game is on me up. And I think we'll get it out. You see, you've got something that's really important to tell me. So I get to the house and he says to me, uh, you fancy going to Africa tonight? And I says, yeah, no problem. And then he says, so, uh, you know where you're fighting? I said, who am I fighting? He said, Roberto Duran. So I just started laughing and, you know, I just saw off. They just kid him and located him in his sister's house doing the plastering. Therefore, uh, I brought him back to his house and sat him down and told him. Um, basically stood over him while he packed his bag, raced back to my house and packed our bags. And then off we went down the M1 uh, to catch a flight from Heathrow to fly out that night at 8 o'clock to South Africa. So the plastering never did get done, did it? No, I, I think we liked that, actually. I think we liked that. Yeah, that was a job. Let's fast forward and go to South Africa. Um, so what are you thinking here, Dave? Here you are, eyeball to eyeball with the legend. Um, I was thinking to stop the world, I want to get off. One more day, so I told us, all right, it's all right, you can go back you can. Uh, and it worked well for me. So I won't go back. And just before the bell, were you worried what it would feel like the first time that Duran actually landed a punch on you. I just thought that um, it was going to me like somebody else hit me, but uh, when I got out there, I thought he was an old guy as well. He maybe it'd be okay, but uh, as I say, I've never been hit as hard as that. Never, never at all. He, every time he hit my into body, he was so, he didn't have any gloves on. You know what I mean? He was just so powerful and his hands were evil. It was unbelievable. You're being quite modest here, Dave. You did rock him yourself, didn't you, in the first round? I like going first round and he started in Marvin Agua uh, commentating and I look back up video night here and saying, Oh, he's, he's in with a young guy here, he's got to keep his hands up but it really, I really rocked him in first, fourth and in seventh and I I, I took with him really. When we come close to my times or chewing away or or waving him on and saying every time I get close he gets painting, no mass, no mass and I don't think you like that but uh, so I was saying, come on, old guy, have another, have another go. Do you think that was wise? <laughs> <laughs> I, must, I must have, uh, I say, I must have been uh, that excited and in knowing that I've gone every round were a, were a bonus to me. You see, I was going through the rounds and they come to eight round and uh, went down went ten. I just couldn't believe it. I thought, well, I've done eight rounds with this guy. How proud are you that you actually went the distance with a legend? I got, it, I got in with four-time world champion and I missed a, a guy who was about well, number nine in country now and I've worked all my way up. I didn't ever think I'd ever get in top ten. I'm up in top ten now and to think that I thought we've got to hold it on. It's, it's something special. They'll always do me that. No, I'm not believe it. Well, there it is, Dave. Well done. You've done it. You went the distance with the great Roberto Duran. That's a kind of once-in-a-lifetime experience never to be repeated. Hang on a minute. You're not going to believe this. It's Tommy Hearn. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Tommy Hearn, but I can tell you it is back to reality on Friday night when Radford fights at Wakefield. Good luck to Radford. What a good man he is. Just to close your thought, maybe dream fights from each of you, gentlemen. Jason Ferris, who would be your dream opponent? That's the fight with Martin Martin Hagler. Well, you're trying to imitate him in your career now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd like to knock him off. I'll bow all his skills now. I'll bow all his skills now. So I'm sure I can beat him now. Okay. Harold? Sugar Ray Leonard, Junior Jones. The two in one. You take them both on the same night. <laughs> 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 all right, then. Probably. <laughs> so depends. I guess that was about six months ago. You'd have said Don King, wouldn't you? Well, now I'd like to be named Mr. As an opponent? Because you were a fighter yourself. Oh, it's been quite different. Yeah. Uh, Who was your hero? Um, yeah. So many boxing people say that. It is amazing. It's much, much more than a coach. Final thought to you, Ben? Well, I've thought about it many times when through the, the fights, and I like to have in my mind so many times. And I like to be at Madison Square Garden and in the opposite corner, dear Bradford. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks very much for being with us. Jason, good luck Saturday night. We look forward to the